Hello, my name is Hurang. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install ASDM on Cisco ASA. As you know, ASDM provides you with a GUI so that you can get access to Cisco ASA and do uh, whatever configuration that you need to do. But to uh, install Cisco uh, ASDM, still you need to get access to the command prompt and do some uh, configuration and then after you can get access to the uh, Cisco ASDM. Uh, for this purpose I'm going to use GNS3. As you see here, I have already uh, dragged and dropped a Cisco SA here, but I haven't configured anything yet. And here is a cloud. Uh, I, I'm just using different symbol, but I just brought in a cloud and uh, this uh, guy here is my uh, virtual machine meaning this virtual machine that has GNS uh, that has uh, Windows XP so uh, the only thing that I've done uh, just I have uh, show you here I have assigned IP address to this uh, virtual machine that I have here 192.168.56.155 and the default gateway of 192.168.56.150 this default gateway will be the IP address of uh, this interface of uh, Cisco SA this interface is Ethernet uh, 0 slash uh, 0 now to, to install uh, ASTM you need to have these files first of all you need to have uh, JRE Java installed on your system uh, you need to have a uh, TFTP software. Uh, you can download TFTP32 for free. And of course, Cisco ASTM, here is the bin file and MSI file. This MSI file will be installed in your system and the uh, bin file will be transferred to uh, Cisco ASA. Okay, let's get started. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go to my GNS3. And uh, I've already started ASA. Here is the console, but I haven't configured anything yet. So let's assign the IP address uh, to this Cisco SA. Let me move this higher so that we can have the topology at the same time. Well, we have to go to global configurations and interface Ethernet 0 slash 0. The IP address will be 192.168.56.150.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
that TFTP uh, software that I showed you. So first I have to install it. Agree. Next, and install the software. It's very quick. Done. Now I need to create a folder uh, in my C drive. For example, here I just create a new folder. I name it ASA, and I'm gonna copy this ASDM bin file and put it in this folder. So paste it in here. So let's run TFTP software. Now this address uh, will be the address that you have stored your uh, bin file that just now ASDM bin file. So it was in my C drive and uh, ASA folder. So is here. I leave it and minimize it. Next, I have to uh, install Java. But before that, let's go to our ASA and then I copy that file to ASA. While that file is copying, we come back and install a uh, Java file here. Okay. So to do that, I go to global configurations or wherever you are, you just type copy uh, tftp slash slash the IP address of your computer, which is 192.168.56.155 slash and the name of the file, which was asdm-621.bin. We're going to copy this to flash memory of our ASA. So I type copy to flash slash and the name will be asdm.bin. So now you want to confirm the address. It says, is this the address of the host? I, you don't reply anything. You don't answer anything. Just press enter. Uh, now it asks for the source, uh, source file name. We already given the source file name here. It is the source file name. Enter destination file name. ASTM. I've already given it here. Enter, and then it starts copying the ASTM uh, to Cisco SA. So I just minimize this. I let it copy everything, and we install uh, JRE here on my machine. Uh, without having this, you cannot run uh, ASDM. So I install uh, let's okay, this guy is installing. Let's check what's going on with our still copying. Uh, you need to have a Java in order to run a uh, ASDM. Uh, otherwise you cannot run ASDM. Then after that, I need to once this guy is finished with his installation, I'm going to use ASDM MSI file to install ASDM on my machine. Even if you don't do that uh, uh, by installing this ASDM later, you can install it on your machine uh, by getting access to the uh, Cisco SA. But anyway, I'm going to install it. Uh, as you see, this ASTM that I'm installing on this machine uh, has different version compared to the ASTM that I have installed on uh, my Cisco SA. It doesn't matter once I run the ASTM, it will ask me to update it and I'll do that later. So click next, next, a pretty straightforward part. Uh, you just have to uh, click next, next, next and it will be install and finish so we're done with this computer here let's go back to ASA still this guy is installing uh, so copying the ASTM 
so I'm gonna pause the video uh, because nothing is uh, it's nothing much here to see it's just uh, the explanation marks and once it's finished with the uh, copying the file I'll come back all right so the process of copying the uh, HDM is finished now I'm gonna do the configuration so that later I can get access to HDM from my virtual machine uh, all right uh, let me close these things we don't need them this is the ASCM launcher you double click here this uh, you will see this launcher uh, we still don't have any we haven't configured anything so let's go back ASCM now the first thing that I'm going to do I want to change the host uh, host name of my A ASA so host name will be for example CBT with firewall and then then domain name will be cbt with.com then you need to enable http uh, http server enable and then after that http will be 192.168.56.155 uh, Two five five two five five two five five that zero inside. Uh, instead of the IP address, it's better to put the network address here. All right. So uh, we're almost done. Just I need to uh, I need to uh, configure username, add a username and password in my system. So username, for example, admin password Cisco and privilege level of 15 so I think we've done all the configurations uh, right yes so that's pretty much it so let's go back to my machine and here I typed the uh, IP address of the Cisco SA 192.168.56.150 and the username was admin and password was Cisco and press OK it should start my machine always trust this guy yes okay now you see that here I told you a new version of ASTM launcher is available to upgrade because just now here we installed the launcher uh, even if we wouldn't install it we could go to uh, we, we could just run Internet Explorer and type the IP address of your router here Cisco SA sorry Cisco SA here and you get access to that and from there install it but anyway I just installed the launcher now I'm gonna upgrade it so it upgrades my launcher next install So here is a new launcher. Well, I typed the password again, Cisco. Did I type correctly? Cisco. And OK. Okay, so we are waiting for ASTM to come up. Hopefully, it won't take long. Yeah, that's it. So here is the uh, GUI that you can use it and configure uh, uh, everything that you want on ASTM, uh, which is much easier compared to command line. So that's all about uh, installation of ASTM. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.